Welcome back to another episode of Who the F***. It's the show that aims to take a deep dive into some of the acts announced for Reading and Leeds 2019. In today's video, we're looking at Dappy. Na na. Na If you've never heard of him before, hopefully this video will help answer the question Who the f is Dappy? Fuck what anyone else has got to say, cause she the baddest from time. Oh my. Did you see the way that thing just walked by? Oh my. It's the way she parked it right. That's not too bad, is it? We're straight. We can fix that. Don't worry about it. Costa Dinos Contestablus. It's from Camden in London. I never knew Dappy was that cool. I have to admit. I'm the first one to say that. I want to use the words Dappy and cool in the same word. In the same centre. He's a kind of hip-hop, R&B and grime MC. His story starts in 2005 when his band released the single Better Not Waste My Time. They were called End Ups. You better not waste my time. Yeah. I got better things on my mind. heard of them before if you are going to Reading Festival as a 16 year old this year then End Up's first single would have come out when you were four or five Ooh, no you would have been like two you'd well to avoid that End Up's story actually starts a lot earlier than this originally they were known as Lickle Rinser's crew but decided they wanted to change their name to something slightly different so they, they went to originally change their name to Hakuna Matata Hakuna Matata what a wonderful phrase taken from the Lion King film, but following some copyright problems with Disney, had to change their name to No Worries. Hakuna Matata actually means no worries for the rest of your days. It means no worries for the rest of your days. The band changed their name to No Worries, which later became NW, but to avoid confusion with NWA, they simply changed their name to NW1, which is the postcode of where they're from, which then later just became N-Dubs. Originally, the band was managed by Duppy's father, Brian, who's originally a Mungo Jerry fame. In the summertime, It features rappers Phaser and Dappy and vocalist Talisa. The band's first album was named Uncle B after the tragic passing of Dappy's father. And as a band, Endubs, you know, whether you like them or not, went on to have incredible success in the UK throughout the noughties and the early 2010s. There are at least three albums in this time, going both double platinum, platinum and gold representatively. But in 2011, decided to part ways with Def Jam Records, claiming that they were trying to change them too much. They went on a, on a kind of, what they said was a two year hiatus. Talisa went on to go and be a judge on the eighth series of X Factor. And Dappy would go on to release some solo music. It was at this time that he decided to release the album Bad Intentions, which was actually released on Island Records, a subsidiary of Universal Music, which is the same as Def Jam who they tried to leave. I think the biggest standout on this album was the single No Regrets. Which made it all the way to number one in the UK and also features one of the greatest key changes in pop history. No in 2015, he would go on to release the single Beautiful Me. It's like a bell waiting on a different me. Which was due to come out on his second album, but he was having some problems with his record company at the time, another subsidiary of Universal Music. I think he's learned the lesson now that he doesn't like Universal Music. I don't really blame him. This album was supposed to be called Miracles, but unfortunately it never came to pass. Since then, he's independently released quite a few, few mixtapes, singles, and freestyles, including the single Oh My, which came out last year. Cause she the baddest from time, oh my. Should have seen the way that thing just walked by, oh my. It's been pretty successful when it comes to kind of YouTube and streaming. It's done very well, especially for an independent record. He's a headline slot this year at Reading, so one would guess that we'd see some something a little bit more by then. His most popular record is the song No Regrets. No regrets, no regrets, we ain't even seen our best today. Currently sound 33 million hits on YouTube. I think probably his biggest record for me was his feature on Tinchy Strider's uh, number one, which is also sat on 33 million hits. From my only to my only number one. And 
believe it or not, this is his first time playing Reading and Leeds. I mean, we're talking about someone who, at one point, through N-dubs or through just his solo work, absolutely dominated the UK charts and is headlining the one extra stage of this year's festival. Being supported by Heady One and Dino Driz, WTF um, videos for those who've already been done. Feel free to go back if you want to know who they are. That's going to be on the Friday at Reading and the Saturday at Leeds. Here's the thing, right? I mean, I don't want... <sighs> this channel was never meant to be a place for me to just shit on people. Never. But Dappy's music is really, I mean, when Endubs were at their height, I think that they represented that sound of, it was post the first coming of Grime. It was when people like Wiley and Dizzy Rascal were working with like really big dance producers to make Ibiza records rather than making Grime records. And there was a time where UK rappers sounded corny as I think personally for me that was where Dappy sat and end up in general. I, I, just, I remember being in uni and just thinking the worst drivel that's out there. And you know, I'm not. Uh, this channel's all talk about music, not about kind of hearsay and, and controversies and whatever. But the man's been arrested three times for assault or, or carrying a knife. He's arrested in Newcastle for shooting fans with a paintball gun. Uh, you know, it is something about or of, or about him which just seems ridiculous, and I think that that behaviour is just ridiculous. The song "No Regrets" is literally about having no regrets about what he's done. To, so to celebrate that behaviour, I think is a bit foolish. I'm surprised that Reading and Leeds have booked him. That really does surprise me. But I certainly won't be going out of my way to check out their music or his set because in number one he's clashing with 1975 and Dave and Hobo Johnson and Camel Fat so I don't see I think that the chances of me seeing his set are slim to none uh, but also I just wouldn't go out of principle I wouldn't go and support someone that's, that's behaved that well and isn't even issuing, issuing apologies I'm not going to read through the rumours it's all on Wikipedia go have a read yourself some of it's probably fake as well so it's hard isn't it but Musically, I'm judging him purely on his music. Absolutely not one for me. So the Light to See Scale, I'm going to go with a 1, probably a 0 0.5. No, we're not going to do that. They're, he's not Bastille. We're going to go with a 1 out of 10. Or maybe I should go with a 0 0.5. Do you know what? I think Dappy's probably worse than Bastille. It's not as bad. I enjoy the hatred I got for my lack of, of enjoying Bastille set. But he's not that, it doesn't deserve that, that kind of level. So I'm going to go with a 0 0.1 out of 10. What do you think? Are you excited to see Dappy at this year's festival? Have you seen him perform before? Will you be going out your way to check out his set? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.